In this module, we're going to talk about the Horizon Recurrent Fracture Trial. This is a unique study. We have never addressed this population before. All the patients who were enrolled in this trial had had hip fractures, and were within a few months of their hip fracture event. All of them uh, were ambulatory prior to the hip fracture. All of them had a surgical procedure to fix the fracture that could have involved an open reduction with internal fixation or a hemi or a total arthroplasty uh, for patients to get back on their feet again. Uh, this is really an important study because we know that patients with hip fracture are grossly under-recognized as having osteoporosis and are grossly undertreated. In fact, fewer than 20% of patients who have hip fractures are given a diagnosis of osteoporosis and are treated accordingly. And this is the fracture that creates the biggest uh, health economic drain uh, and cre creates the, the greatest amount of uh, morbidity and mortality in osteoporosis. In this trial, uh, approximately 2,120 patients, both men and women, uh, were uh, randomized to receive either a single uh, yearly infusion of zoledronic acid or a single infusion of uh, placebo. Uh, this was an event-driven trial, so not everybody completed three years, uh, but some patients completed three years. The study was designed such that by the time statistical significance was reached between the groups with regard to the primary outcome measure, which was new clinical fractures, the study would be stopped. And so the study was stopped with a median treatment period that actually was under two years. The major uh, results of this trial were very dramatic. We saw a 35% reduction in new clinical fractures in those women and men who were randomized to receive zoledronic acid compared to placebo. We saw reductions in clinical vertebral fractures, uh, and uh, we also saw reductions in new hip fractures. This latter number did not quite meet statistical significance, uh, in part because, as I said, this was an event-driven trial and didn't go on quite long enough to get to statistical significance there. In addition, we saw that there was a reduction in mortality in the zoledronic acid-treated patients compared to placebo-treated of 28 percent. Uh, so dramatic effects not only on future fractures in patients who received the drug, but also a reduction in mortality. At the same time, the agent was well tolerated. Uh, there was no evidence of any problems with fracture healing. And this is a question that's asked uh, very often. Uh, doctors are concerned uh, that bisphosphonate drugs might impair fracture healing. All of the patients in this trial had hip fractures and had had surgery for the fracture. Uh, and there were no differences in the occurrence of non-union or avascular necrosis or poor fracture healing in the zoledronic acid uh, compared to placebo-treated uh, subjects. Very important finding. Uh, we also saw in this study, which involved women and men who were older uh, than in the uh, pivotal fracture trial, uh, sicker, uh, they had a lot of comorbidities, all of them had had recent surgery. Uh, in this trial, we saw no uh, imbalance in atrial fibrillation events or serious atrial fibrillation events uh, between zoledronic acid and placebo-treated uh, subjects. I think based on this trial, we can safely say uh, that all patients who have hip fracture should be considered for treatment with zoledronic acid to protect protect them against future fractures and uh, in hopes also of prolonging life. In summary, zoledronic acid uh, is an extremely effective therapy for osteoporosis in all stages for patients who have just bone density changes, for patients who have had vertebral fractures, and now we know for patients who have had hip fractures. In this latter population, we can expect not only reduction in future fractures, but also a reduction in mortality. The drug is safe and very well tolerated.